zero. Is it odd or even? Let's take a look. <laughs> the first way we can conclude whether it's an odd or even number is by looking at a numero line. Well, we know four is an even number because it's a multiple of two. Three is an odd number because it's an even number plus one. Two is even. This is odd. Can you see the pattern? We've got an even, odd, even, odd, even. And if you read it, it says e o e o e o e o e. It means O is actually even. If you're not convinced, let's keep looking. <laughs> the second thing is, if zero is an even number, it must follow the parity rules, meaning even plus even is even, and even times an integer is also even. For example, zero plus two is two. That is even. If I take an even number, like I'm suggesting zero is, if I multiply that by an integer, whatever, two, I also get zero, which is then even. And the third way, which is the algebraic way, is all even numbers must be in the form 2k. So all numbers must be in the form of two lots of k, where k is an integer. So it could be positive numbers, negative numbers, including zero. So if I am suggesting n being zero is an even number, what would k need to be? Well, two times zero is zero, so k here would have to be zero, which is an element of the integers. And if you want to play a game, you could go with your kids and you could say, yo, uh, I have zero number of sweets and I want to divide it evenly amongst my two kids, innit? Well, each of them would get zero, which also <laughs> proves that zero is an even number. Nice. Share this evenly amongst your mates. Don't be an odd fellow, my friend. 